Get ready to deck the halls and trim the tree with these genius ornament hacks you never knew you needed. These DIY decor ideas I'm sharing will make your holiday season merry and bright. Whether you're a crafting pro or a holiday newbie, these ornament hacks will take your decorations to the next level. So grab some hot cocoa, get cozy, and start making this the most wonderful time of the year. For this ornament, we're going to take a clear ornament from Dollar Tree, and then we're going to also be using some pearls from the Dollar Tree. You can find pearls at Dollar Tree in the crafters area. We're going to take the larger pearls. They do have two sizes, a larger and a small. We're gonna fill our clear ornament up about three fourths of the way, just putting our pearls in there, nothing fancy. Once our pearls get put in, we're gonna add our topper, and I picked up this really pretty pearl C at Hobby Lobby. It was half off, so it cost about $1.50. It is a sticker, so it has a sticky backing, but we're gonna add some hot glue just to give it a reinforced um, hold onto our ornament. I'm going to just make sure that I press down all the edges so it's very secure onto our ornament. And then I had some ribbons also from Dollar Tree just kind of in my stash. I tied them all together and we're just going to hot glue them up at the top of our ornament. Super easy. Anyone can make this one. It's super fancy and elegant. I think I have just the person in mind for this one. Let me know what you guys think about this ornament. I love to use these ornament hooks that I get at Hobby Lobby. If there's an Amazon version, I'll link it down for you down in the description box. But they're pretty fancy, easy to use, and they give you a pretty high-end look. For this project, we're going to take these treat containers I got at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to use these flocked ornaments that I also got at Hobby Lobby. Now, I did remove the hanger from this. It isn't necessary. You don't need to do that part. But all we're going to do is hot glue our ornament into the treat container. If you don't want to go to Hobby Lobby and get these flocked ornaments, I'm going to show you a different option here in a second that you can do with Dollar Tree ornaments. So we're just going to use our hot glue, put it around inside the container, and add our flocked ornament. Then we're going to be using some puff paint. I got this puff paint at Dollar Tree. You can find it in the Crafter Square section. If your Dollar Tree doesn't have it, you can get it at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, or I'll have an option down in the description box. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over the top. We're trying to make it look like some marshmallow sauce, and I just kind of fill it in here and there as I go around, and then I'm tapping on the table just to kind of have it go all down the ice cream of our ornament. This um, takes a little bit of time to dry, so make sure you give your time, yourself some time when you're creating this project. I also picked up these little baubles at Dollar Tree. I'm using the red one to represent the cherry on top, and then I went ahead and added the hanger back in. So when I said you didn't have to cut it off, this is what I meant. If you had left it there, it would have been totally fine. You're just going to decorate around the hanger. Because I cut mine off, I'm just going to go ahead, add a little bit more puff paint around where it is. That way it blends into the um, topping of our sundae. Then I got these cute little embellishments at Hobby Lobby. They're little sprinkles and they have little snowmans and I'm just going to add them on top. That is it for this one. Adorable. Definitely my favorite one of the video. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Now, if you don't want to get the flocked ornaments at Hobby Lobby, here's an option. I picked up some pearl paint. I don't recommend the pearl paint. I definitely recommend just some white acrylic paint. Mine tends to be a little bit too thin after I get this finished, but I wanted it to give it a little bit more of like an ice cream shine. Um, but you're going to add your paint into the clear ornament. You're going to roll it around until it's totally covered. You're going to have to give this a little bit of dry time as well, just so that the paint can empty out of the ornament and dry. Then we're going to take these cupcake liners. These are the smaller ornaments, so if you're using one of the large ornaments, you could use those treat containers as well. I glued it into the cupcake liner. I'm just going to add some kind of cute ribbon here. 
If you wanted to embellish this with a hot sauce or something on top, you could use some brown hot glue, you could use some brown puffy paint, giving it the look of a sundae as well. I went for just an ice cream with a cherry on top, but you could embellish this in any way that you like. So I had the ribbon up at the top for our hanger, and then we're going to use our bobble one more time to glue on as the cherry. And that is it for this one. Super simple, and you can recreate that sweet treat on your own with Dollar Tree products. For this project, I took one of the large uh, ornament clear ornaments that they have at Dollar Tree and I also got this fairy light string that looks like a string of lights. Now I wasn't 100% sure this was going to work but it does and it's super cute so all we're going to do is undo them add some batteries to our battery pack and if you're like me I didn't realize you needed to use a screwdriver so you need a tiny screwdriver to take the back off of that. So once you have that all together, all you're going to do is add it into the ornament so it looks like a string of lights. I wanted to add a bow to the top just to give it a little bit more something. And so I went ahead and took this cute ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby, tied it into a pretty simple bow, and we're going to attach it to the top. All I did with the battery pack was glue it to the back of the ornament. This is a tiny bit heavy, but the ornament pack is not noticeable when you get it on the tree. And here it is lit up. I love this one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. This ornament's going to give us a little bit more of a high-end look. So we're going to take a clear ornament from Dollar Tree. We're going to add some Mod Podge and these gold metal flakes. I got these at Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree Plus section. If you can't find them in Dollar Tree Plus section, they do have something similar at Walmart, or I'll list an option down below from Amazon. All we're going to do is dab these gold flakes on and then once we have it totally covered I'm going to use my foam brush that still had glue on it to get off any of the little pieces. This also seals in the gold leafing that we already put on. I also put the topper back on and use the gold leafing on the topper as well. That way you get a solid look of gold throughout the whole ornament. Once I have that on, I just kind of go over and make sure that all the pieces are adhered. And then I made this really pretty easy bow using some ribbon from Dollar General. All I'm going to do is glue it to the top and that is it for this one. I love how this one turned out. Let me know if you would recreate this. a super simple but adorable project. We're going to take a large clear ornament from Dollar Tree and one of the garlands that they have out this year. These have cute little gnomes on them. I thought it was adorable. All we're going to do is thread our garland into the large ornament. You can put as much or as little into this one as you like. I wanted to make sure that the gnomes were kind of going forward as I put it in there. That way you can see them in the front of the ornament. So after I get all of my garland in, then I'm going to go ahead and make a quick bow. This ribbon came out, I think, last year at Dollar Tree. It's also some gnomes. I thought it was pretty cute and kind of coordinated together. So I made a simple bow. We're just going to glue that up at the top. And then I took another one of those plastic gnomes that's off of the garland. And I'm just going to glue it up in the top of the bow. That is it for this one. I love it. Let me know what you guys think about this one. another one of the flocked ornaments from Hobby Lobby for this project. If you don't want to use the flocked ornament, you can use the technique earlier in the video where we take a clear ornament and use paint 
and you can get the same pink look. So I got these stickers at Hobby Lobby. They were half off, so they were about $2.50. They are the pink gingerbread. Pink is kind of a hot color for Christmas this year, and it also gives off that kind of sorority vibe that is really popular right now with the gold around. So we're going to go ahead, and all we're going to do is put the stickers onto our ornament. Super simple. I actually really adore this one, and it was one of my favorites from the video. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Sticking with this same theme, I had one of these green ornaments I picked up at the DI last time I was there, and I also got these stickers from Hobby Lobby. They were half off, kind of in the same area where the pink gingerbread was. All we're going to do is glue them to our ornament, kind of in a random pattern. Once I get them all glued onto the ornament, then we're going to take a paint marker and we're just going to draw a line to attach them to each other, kind of like a string of lights. This is a kind of smaller ornament, so if you want to recreate this with a bigger ornament, you probably have a little bit more space for your string of lights. Once I have the string going around to all of the ornaments, I kind of do a little circle kind of above the ornament. Uh, bulb that way it looks like it's attached to the string and then I went ahead and went around with my same marker and added some polka dots onto our string and then I added polka dots to the whole ornament. I think this turned out so cute. I don't know what it is about these stickers but they're absolutely adorable. Let me know down in the comments if you'd recreate one of these ornaments. go for a natural look in these next couple ornaments. So I picked up some potpourri at the Dollar Tree. You can find this in the crafters area. It's $1.25 for the bag and you get quite a few pieces in this bag. I barely used any to make this ornament. So this might be a good gift basket idea as well. You can put the ornaments in there with the potpourri and some other bath items. All I did was add it, I did two different ones, lavender and eucalyptus, and then I'm going to add some shabby kind of chic ribbons to the top. This is really simple. They also had some dried flowers in the uh, potpourri bags, so I took out each flower and I glued it to the top of the ornament, and that is it. You get this really pretty natural look, and I think it would make a great gift. So for this project, I picked up this bag of buttons at a garage sale. These are pr uh, pretty old buttons. Some of them are vintage. You can tell just by the looks of them. This would make a really cute keepsake ornament if you have a sewer in your family or you have a lot of vintage buttons that are maybe family related and you don't think you're ever going to use them. A lot of the buttons in this bag weren't buttons that I would probably use for crafting. So this was a great way to use up some of these buttons. I'm going to get them all into my ornament and then I'm going to add Add some pioneer ribbon in a bow up at the top. I got my ribbon at Walmart. Um, I'll see if there is a version on Amazon and link it there. I also had a needle threader that I didn't think I was ever going to use so I glued it here in the middle of our bow and that is it for this one. I love it. Let me know what you guys think about this and if you'd make one for someone in your family. I 
was wandering around Dollar Tree and I was trying to think of ways that we could fill these clear ornaments and I found this glitter glue. Now I've never used this glitter glue before. It took me a little bit to realize there was a stopper in the top. So if you recreate this, make sure you take out the plastic stopper. All I'm gonna do is squeeze my glitter glue into the ornament. I found two different styles, so I picked up both of them so we could kind of see which ornament we liked better. In the end, I liked the gold one a lot better than the confetti one, but you guys let me know down in the comments which one you like the best. After we get it in there, you want to let it dry just a little bit because it is glue. Then you can go ahead, put your topper back on, and then you're going to add some embellishments. I decided for the gold one, I found some golden red ribbon in my stash. So I just added some other little pieces that I also had in my stash, and I'm going to glue that up at the top. I used some pom-pom ribbons for the confetti one because I kind of felt like that was the vibe going in that ornament. But that was it for these two ornaments. Let me know what you guys think about this. And do you ever wander around the Crafter Square area thinking, how can I use this? And if you do, what are the things you want to use? Because I'd like to know down in the comments. Maybe I can make a video. This is another kind of popular trend going right now, these letter beads. I'm not going to lie though, these Dollar Tree letter beads, they are really small. <laughs> But you get quite a few in the package in the Crafter Square area for $1.25. I'm spelling the word snow, so I'm just going to take S-N-O-W out and I'm using some hot glue. I could not find my tweezers to hold on to this, so I'm using some scissors. If you have tweezers, I highly recommend the tweezers. It'd be a little bit easier to get your word into the ornament than my scissors were. But we're going to take this snow um, that I got from Dollar Tree. And as you can see here, I made a total mess because I made my own funnel trying to get it into the ornament. So I highly recommend a real funnel or a better paper funnel <laughs> than the one I was using. But put it in something because this is pretty messy and it will kind of get everywhere. So once I get my snow into the ornament, I'm using some scissors. I'm going to drop my snow letters down into the snow. Now, because they are so small, they get a little bit lost in the ornament. If you had a little bit bigger ones, it'd probably be a little bit easier to see once you got them in the ornament. But I do still think this is pretty cute. And there is a couple of different ways you could style this. I just went with some ribbon and yarn from Dollar Tree and then I had this really cute snowman um, little ornament left over from another project. I glued him to the middle of our bow and that is it for this one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I found these adorable socks at Dollar Tree. I picked up two pairs, but I only end up using one pair. I liked these fuzzy gingerbread socks. So we're gonna go ahead and use one of the large bulbs from Dollar Tree. We're gonna put our sock on, and then when we get it to the desired look, we're gonna cut off the top of our sock. I decided after I cut off the top of the sock that I wanted to kind of push it down into the ornament. I was originally just going to put the topper back on with the ornament pushed down into it, but I did not like how that looked. So instead, I went ahead and still doing the same method of pushing it down into the ornament, added some hot glue and some twine around the top. Once I had that secure, as you can see here, I decided not to add the actual topper that came with it. I'm using a smaller topper. We're gonna add some hot glue into the ornament, and then we're going to push down our ornament topper into that piece. That way it's flush with our ornament and you don't see any of this silver part. I don't know what it was about this ornament, but I just didn't really like the silver part showing and I could not figure out a way to hide it that looked good. So then I just took some random ribbons and things that I had in my stash, and I'm just gonna glue it up kind of towards the top of the gingerbread's head. They were white and red, kind of going with the same theme here. Here is how it turned out. I love the fuzziness of this one. Let me know what you guys think about this project. 
Thanks for watching and I hope you learned some new and exciting ornament decoration hacks to try this holiday season. If you have a favorite, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more holiday inspiration videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. Happy decorating and as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!